Disney's Christopher Robin is the newest wide release in theaters, and it's a film that, based on the trailer, I was like, <sighs> if you've seen the trailer, you know it's the story of Christopher Robin, who he is the main character of the Winnie the Pooh series, the book series, as well as you know the movie and TV show series, and it's about him basically how he has a, a job you know that he's not even sure if he's happy about he doesn't really pay attention to his daughter or even his wife for that matter it's just all about the job and you know he runs back into Pooh Winnie the Pooh and starts to almost find himself again you know to when he was you know a child and he used to play with Winnie the Pooh and his friends all the time <sighs> The trailer just seemed really sappy. It seemed really cringe-inducing, and I love Ewan McGregor. But, but, I have to say this. Watching the film, honestly, there is some enjoyable stuff in this. For starters, Ewan McGregor, you can tell that he's actually enjoying himself. Like, he is having a ball. And I mean, why why wouldn't it be, you know? Because it's like, the last couple of years, he's had to do a lot. Like, if you've seen Fargo Season 3, he does a lot in that TV show. Um, so to get a role where it's like easy going, but at the same time he gets to just have fun, it's awesome. And I'm glad it wasn't like Peter Rabbit earlier this year where it was like, oh my goodness, this is cringe inducing. It's like, no, nah, it, it worked. And the CGI for the um, the animals, because I'm pretty darn sure that it was CGI was really good. I mean, it was also just one of those things where you couldn't help but get invested in these like voice actors because me personally I, I did I did see the old Winnie the Pooh movie and I have seen some episodes of like the TV show so when I first saw Winnie the Pooh you know in this film for Robin and just the stuff he was doing I was like oh my goodness nostalgia just kicked in and that almost never happens for me almost ever if I'm watching something usually it's with the mindset I have now in my 20s not you know mindset of me as like you know a 10 year old or even younger so it was nice to kind of have that nostalgia effect because for me personally it doesn't happen too often it really doesn't i know that's strange but it's the truth um i also thought the score and cinematography well not great not even like good but we're solid they got the job done for what it was and that's what this film overall is guys it's a film that it gets the job done is it harmless absolutely is it memorable? No. If you've seen the story a thousand times, that's probably the biggest negative I can give the film. But at the same time, it's like a spoonful of sugar because that's what the story is. It's Mary Poppins. It's a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. And this film does that. It is like medicine in a bottle, but at the same time, it gives you sugar. So for a brief time, you forget that you're taking medicine. And you know that's the great thing about this film. Um, so again, it's just it's a breezy film. It's not going to be memorable. You won't remember it in several days from now. But at the same time, most people that are going to be seeing this movie don't want a deep film, and that's why. And I'm not saying I don't want a deep film. Obviously, I do. But I can also appreciate that this film got the job done with what it was trying to do. And yeah, sometimes that's just enough. So Disney's Christopher Robin for me gets a three and a half out of five star rating, um, and on my hot sauce scale. It gets a red hot sauce. Meaning, for those of you who haven't seen my other review, meaning that the film itself is like red hot sauce. Like Frank's red hot sauce. It's enjoyable. It's passable. Is it memorable? No. Is it hot? No. But it gets the job done. Like Frank's hot sauce. So, guys, um... That's my review of Disney's Christopher Robin. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Uh, I know I didn't really get into negatives too much with this film, but that's just because a lot of it's just kind of like nitpicks here and there that you know might spoil the plot of this film. But again, uh, if you guys do see Disney's Christopher Robin, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.